O sun, arise. O dawn, break the darkness. Open a new day and prepare for a new morning with a resounding voice. In a mysterious country in the east, at the ends of the earth, where the morning begins with the light of hope, the Church of God, the Holy City, lights up the whole world. Like a white horse that waits for the dawn after drinking from the emerald stream of life is the Jerusalem Temple of the Church of God in Bundang, Korea. As Jerusalem in Israel remains a blessed land in history, this Jerusalem Temple is now a peaceful oasis for those who desire the heavenly Jerusalem that is prophesied in the Bible. They are European-style buildings built for the brothers and sisters flying in from afar. They are resting places like mother's warm arms for the overseas members who visit Korea to study the Bible from nations around the world. The head office of the Church of God is located in the center of Bundang, Korea. It stands high as the light that brightens the world. Today, too, the pulse of the gospel is beating without rest at the heart of the Church of God. The Church of God is in every part of Korea. The beautiful and orderly appearances of the 400 temples in Korea attract people's attention. The members of the Church of God set themselves to be good examples for society by doing good deeds as well as sharing in their neighbors' joys and sorrows.
beautiful songs and melodies are a common language of all nations. The music department of the Church of God composes beautiful new songs. The Messiah Orchestra delivers the songs to the world with their wholehearted performances. The graceful moments when the members become one with new songs are put on video and spread to every Church of God in the world. The Multimedia Department of the Church of God has a simultaneous broadcast system using a relay vehicle which is able to record, edit, and produce various kinds of videos independently. The Publication Department translates and publishes all publications into over 40 languages so that they can deliver the love of God Elohim throughout the global village. All the pastors are trained in the theological seminary that resembles the grand image of Father. The pastors of the Church of God always examine themselves and study the Bible, not being content with the status quo. More than 400 pastors who have been trained here for four years go abroad to various places around the world every year. This is an international organization which brings forth diplomatic emissaries. At the Chanui San Training Institute, which takes after the magnificent spirit of Father, the breath of the gospel dwells there wholly. And the Dungbek Training Institute is situated in the vicinity of the head office, so it takes charge of the education for the overseas members and the members in the capital area. The Elohim Training Institute is located in Yangdong, which is famous for its fresh air and clean water. The mountain surrounds the institute like an eagle spreading its wings around its young, like a mother embracing her baby. Here, the church members foster their character development so that they will be gentle like the smooth ridge of a mountain and pure like clear water. Together with the Okchun Training Institute, the Elohim Training Institute provides education programs for the overseas church members who visit Korea and leadership training for the pastors in the country, including various kinds of seminars. The Okchun Go and Come Training Institute is located in Okchun, a city of propriety. It is already famous in Korea as an institute with the best facilities and equipment, which can hold a large-scale event accommodating more than 15,000 people. Through this institute, the church members are motivated to go out into the world to preach the gospel, and the overseas members who visit here are overwhelmed, seeing how the prophecy is fulfilled. In many Western countries, including the United States, Christianity is deteriorating day by day. However, the Church of God is crowded with the people wanting to study the Bible. The gospel work in North America, which began in LA, has now been spread to all over America. In the Church of God, all the members are united beyond culture and race. The 
torch of the gospel from North America quickly spread throughout South America. In Asia, Africa, Europe, and Oceania, the fervor of the gospel spreads and the amazing work of God continues. The overseas brothers and sisters express their joy, which they've obtained from the truth of the new covenant with bright smiles. They fly to Korea to visit the holy ground where the spiritual mother is, study the Bible, and learn the gospel of the new covenant.
The number of the overseas members who visit Korea has been increasing exponentially since 2001. Like children who seek the embrace of their mother's arms with delight in their eyes, all the overseas members throughout the world say without hesitation that their greatest wish is to visit Korea. Like this, to the overseas members, Korea is the country they yearn for and the country of mother whom they truly long to meet. They desire to experience mother's country, understand and follow the truth with their hearts. The Church of God shines the light of truth over the world. Actually, this is the place where our Heavenly Mother dwells, the land of prophecy. So I came here to receive the water of life that you can only receive here in Korea from God the Mother. Ici, plus précisément pour davantage mieux comprendre, afin que je puisse répandre la parole de Dieu en France, dans mon pays, où et en Europe où il y a une sécheresse spirituelle. I had all, always thought that there was a contradiction between science and the Bible. I didn't believe that the uh, science that I studied so earnestly was represented or could agree with the Bible. But when I came to Church of God, I was shown that the whole Bible is filled with prophecies. And these prophecies have come true 100%. I've seen things in the Bible that could never be written by men. This can only come from God. The Bible is fact. The Bible is absolutely true. And so I'm so proud to be in the Church of God and so excited and so happy to find out the truth in the Bible. Sinceramente, la Madre Celestial es Dios Todopoderoso. Yo he podido ver con mis propios ojos la gloria de nuestra Madre Celestial. But then the final reason why I will not leave the Church of God is because of God the Mother. You know, even since I was a child, I was with us, God the Mother, and only the church teaches the profound truth of our Heavenly Mother. Antes de estar en el Evangelio, ciertamente yo antes tenía otro carácter, eh, tenía eh, otras costumbres, eh, otros pensamientos. Eh, ahora, ya siendo hijo de Dios, eh, ya que nos refinamos en Sion, definitivamente eh, hay cambio drástico en nuestra persona, en nuestra personalidad, en nuestro carácter. Eso es bastante notorio en las personas porque se sorprenden cómo puede haber tanto cambio en una persona. Nuestra Madre, Vyshe Jerusalem, es la verdadera Madre, según los profetas de la Biblia. Yo creo en esto y yo sé y lo sé que nuestra Madre es Dios. I don't think there's words to describe the grace of Mother, but it's only really coming to Korea and meeting Heavenly Mother that I truly understand that the, the, the love that is there, that, that she gives out to everybody. Bei diesem Besuch konnte ich Mutters Liebe spüren. Ich konnte spüren, dass sie wirklich unser Gott ist und dass sie uns erwählt hat. I think we're all part of a complete family. We have a father and a mother. And that makes the Church of God special. The Church of God is alive. I spent 50 years attending Church of England churches and Catholic churches. And I've never felt a church that I went into as a Catholic or a Church of England person as alive. Nothing like the feeling and the love I feel going into a Church of God Zion. Thank you so much, Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother, uh, for allowing me to come here to Korea and for blessing me and for allowing me to become 
giving me a chance to become a prophet in these last days. Depois de toda essa bênção, de todo, depois de todo esse alimento espiritual que tem tentado tomar aqui na Coreia, ao voltar a Angola, eu quero dedicar simplesmente a minha vida para o Evangelho. That will ever be enough for the great love and sacrifice our Heavenly Mother has given to us. At the very least, the one thing I can do is devote my entire being to make her the glory and praise of this earth. For the Church of God to be here today, Mother has always been giving the members her teachings with love. The teachings of Mother, which are engraved on every member's heart, are the spiritual food and guide that make the Church beautiful and strengthen the souls of the members. People who don't ignore the tears and grief of their neighbors. People who don't turn away from the events of their nation, whether big or small, happy or sad. They are the members of the Church of God. tells them to love their neighbors as themselves and look upon the world with a warm heart. Cherishing the love of Mother, the members of the Church of God respect their elders, love their neighbors, and protect the environment. They play the role of the salt and the light of the world. As Mother always sets an example by taking the initiative in every volunteer activity, the members of the Church of God have been trying to spread God's love not only with words, but also with actions. You are a great inspiration to so many people around the world. It is because of your gift to so many that we have in our city of Christchurch this group of people who have a strong faith both in what you've taught them but in the values that we as a society hold dear as well. That the greatest strength of all, the greatest gift that we can give is love to one another. 
and uh, that you have inspired this is a great gift to give to us as well. And I thank you. If all the young people in the world were like these Church of God volunteers, we'd have no problems. Thank you. Then, in the interest of time, I'd like to move on to the World Mission Society. The Church of God believes in God the Father and the God the Mother in the Bible and uh, keeps the new covenant truth established by Jesus Christ. All these Church of God humanitarian activities originated from the heart of Mother. For this reason, the Church of God would like to continue to support the self and looks forward to working with other entities of the UN in the future to help all these all those in need. UN이 가장 이제 질레나 또 IT나 또 아프가니스탄이나 이런 데 많이 도움는 걸 이제 지금 봤기 때문에 그래서 이제 한국에서도 UN에 이제 좀 기증을 하자. I was very moved by your presence here and the message you have and really the good will of all the members of the church in working together uh, for making this world a better place. Happy oh. Thanksgiving, come Samita. <laughs> Just like a shoulder to lean on when times are hard, the Church of God stayed beside the bereaved families of the Daegu subway tragedy. And they worked as supporters in the 2002 Busan Asian Games, the FESPIC Games, and the 2003 Daegu Universiad. The Church of God has been doing its best to share its love with society and inspire the whole world. That it was just like a, an Olympic Games. I don't see that much cheering and that much uh, spectator excitement, except in Korea. We are very grateful to your support. We will not forget Korea. We will not forget Church of God, and we will not forget Pura support. So we are grateful to you. Thank you very much.
다섯 번째 수준으로 오셔가지고 대한민국 국민들의 품격이 한 단계 올라가고 광주 유니버셜 대회가 더욱 빛나게 된것 같습니다. getting every day more impressed about uh, the support all the teams are getting here and, and it's really I'm at a lot of our World Cups of course and uh, what I see here is very unique and, and, and I'm very happy to see that because the supporters here they support all the teams not only Team Korea. 하나님의 구의 가족들이 대회 첫날부터 지금까지 열정과 냉정과 순정을 다 바쳐가지고 이 응원하는 모습은 세계 어느 도시의 어떤 대회에서도 볼 수도 없었고 정말 대단하다. 너무 사랑스러워. Their devoted efforts for society were acknowledged by the government, and the Church of God received the Presidential Citation Award in 2003. An order of sport merit in 2004, along with many other awards, great and small. This was a result of the faith of those who put into practice the teachings of Mother. It has only taken about 50 years for the Church of God to achieve this remarkable growth. The Church of God began in Korea at the ends of the earth in the east, according to the prophecy of the Bible. Christ An Sang Hong began to preach the gospel in 1948. Wonderful Korea, wonderful Church of God. The world gives a cheer to the Church of God, where the truth that people desire is. The new cradle of the gospel, Korea, and the new holy ground of the gospel, the Church of God. The place where the footsteps of the world are heading to is the Church of God. Sun arise. O oh, dawn, break the darkness. Open a new day and prepare for a new morning with a resounding voice. In a country in the east, at the ends of the earth, the Church of God, the Temple of Truth, lights up the whole world.